This is the story of rogue sports parents taking things a bit too far. Their recklessness that hurts those sacrificing their time to help out the community and the assailants hoping to evade charges. This is a story in part that we covered previously of Mark McLaughlin, the father who badly injured an elderly referee seen here. Back in December, McLaughlin posted $20,000 bail and was released from prison. Enough. I'm not hearing another word of anything. Then be fair. No, no, wait a second. Did you just hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, do you want to have a game here? Chill out. Right now. It's a baseball game. Hey, stay professional for the kids and just do your job. Come on. That's it. Come on. Whether it be vocally like this instance, fights between parents, coaches attacking referees, coaches pantsing refs like Republican Jeremy Faison. <laughs> or parents physically assaulting referees, the issue continues to come to light. So his son was wrestling in the high school match. When the opponent picked him up, slammed into the mat, the ref did call the move illegal, but that's when the father runs in, tackles the wrestler. He's been charged with simple assault and disorderly conduct. If I look at the 27 years I've been doing this job, it's become much, much more difficult now, said Rosemount High School Athletic Director Michael Manning. One of those issues making the job more challenging these days for Manning is finding enough refs to officiate for the school's 33 sports. A local Fox affiliate in Minneapolis wrote, the state high school league acknowledges the referee and official shortage is a problem, particularly at the sub-varsity level. Probably no surprise, given the pay and sometimes abusive behavior from fans in the stands, even poor sportsmanship from the sidelines. A national survey of officials showed 55% said verbal abuse is the reason they quit, 59% don't feel responsible, 57% believe sportsmanship is getting worse. 84% say they're treated unfairly by spectators. The bottom line is that officials are quitting faster than new ones are signing up. Leslie Smith, the president of the Pacific Northwest Basketball Officials Association, who has also been a ref since the 90s, says confrontations at games, both verbal and physical, are on the rise. It's getting worse, said Smith. It's Terrible. The National Federation of State High School Associations says 50,000 high school refs have quit since 2019. And just last week, the CEO, Carissa Niehoff, spoke out about abuse aimed at refs, saying the culture has to change. Currently, there are 22 states, including Oregon, where there are specific changes for touching an official. So some may be asking, what can be done? I think it's a simple fix. You bring forth, and these are lawmakers, they bring forth legislation to make these penalties stiffer set the tone per se not only should this change immediately but the issue should be bipartisan because if we have seen anything over the last few years it is going after groups that are already marginalized and oppressed and blaming a problem on them instead you want to help out youth sports, Republicans? You want to help out kids that are trying to succeed in high school sports? Here's the issue. The referees are telling you it's an issue. Some parents are telling you it's an issue. The actual athletes are telling you it's an issue. Instead of going after trans kids who want to run cross country and just simply make friends and fit in, uh, go after this issue. Tackle it head on. You will be shocked at the results.